Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is my Finishing the Bible One Year Project, and we are on day 300. Day 300, which means we only have 65 more days and we'll be done with the whole entire Bible. Every single verse, every single chapter, every single book, the whole thing. So day 300, we're in the book of John. We'll be reading chapters 9 and 10 today. Let's jump right in with John. Chapter 9, verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath sinned, hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam which is by interpretation sent. He went his way thereof, and washed, and came seen. His neighbors therefore, and they which before had seen him, and that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes opened? He answered and said, A man that is called to Jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes, and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam, and wash. <clears throat> and when I went and washed, I received sight. Then, they, then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed, and did, and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. They say unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him, that he hath opened thine eyes? He said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that they had been blind and received his sight until they called his parents of him that had received his sight. They asked him, saying, Is this your son, who ye say was born blind? How then doth he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he, seeth, he, he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. These words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore said his parents, He is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind, and they said unto him, Give God the praise, we know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that where I was blind, now I see. Then said they to him again, What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? <laughs> they keep asking him, and he keeps telling them. He answered them, I have told you already, yeah. And ye did not hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple. But we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses, as for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. The man answered and said to him, Why herein is a marvelous thing, that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened mine eyes? Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of God, and doeth his will, him hear, he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes? of one that was born blind. If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? That's a laugh. They're nothing but sinners. 
And they cast him out. Yeah. Oh, my word. They're just... They're hypocrites. Major, unbelieving hypocrites. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that t talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Jesus said, For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said to him, Are we blind also? Man, the Pharisees are everywhere. It seems like they're always around listening. They're like uh, like little kids or teenagers who always hear something. And if you say anything bad, they always have something to say. You know what I mean? Crazy. Alright, Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now ye say we see, therefore your sin remaineth. Ah, oh, man. John 10.1 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they which understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever come, came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come, that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep and am known of mine. As for the Father knoweth me, even so I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And the uh, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. There was a division therefore again among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, He hath a devil, and is mad. Why hear ye him? Others said, These are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can the devil open the eyes of a blind? And it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him, and said unto him, How long dost thou... Make us to doubt, if thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. How many times have they seen him do miracles? And have he has he told them, and they still don't believe him? And then they are like, tell us plainly. How much plainer can you get? I mean, wow. So stiff-necked. Jesus answered them, I told you. Yeah. I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered, Many good works have I showed you from my Father, for which of those works do ye stone me? Jesus answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, Ye are gods? 
If he called them gods unto whom the world of God came, the scriptures cannot be broken. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, Thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, that ye believe n not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand. And went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. And many resorted unto him, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true. And many believed on him there. Alright, here's the daily promise. 1 Corinthians 1 8. Who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ? Here's the reflection in that quote. Fear not the wickedness of your own inclinations, O believer, for Christ will ever sustain you in the spite of your weakness. Trust in him, lean on his might, throw yourself into the redemptive mercy of his hands, and seek not the power to remain of your own might. Have faith in the Lord, for he shall save you in that final day. End quote. Amen to that. I think we should definitely have faith and trust in our Lord. And uh, sometimes it's easier said than done, but every day is a, is a battle. Every day we have to put on the armor of God. Every day we have to uh, fight and believe and have faith and trust. A daily struggle, a daily battle. So we have to give it to the Lord. So let's pray. Dear Jehovah, our Elohim, our Abba, thank you so much for this day and thank you for our very lives. Thank you that we get to read your word. I pray you give us discernment and understanding that we may rightly divide your word, your word of truth. Help us to reach out to others and be an example to others, that they may know the free gift of salvation. If only they believe in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross for us all. Please lead us and guide us and show us your will and your path in our lives. Thank you again for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. And I pray in Christ Jesus' precious holy name, Yeshua. Amen. Amen and amen. So guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you have a good evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, time time for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Trust in Him. Believe on Him. You'll never be sorry. See you tomorrow with more John. God willingly. Take care.